This question asks us to come up with an equation relating the thrust produced by a rocket engine under steady operation to the mass flow rates for the fuel and oxidizer and the exhaust velocity from the engine. The velocity of the spacecraft and the pressure and density of the surrounding gas and any other things. So that of course state all assumptions clearly. Now if we have a rocket and it's moving at some velocity v rocket we can put a control volume around the rocket that moves at the same velocity as the rocket and thus it looks like the rocket's stationary inside the control volume. So if we make the control volume move with the rocket then inside the moving CV everything stays the same. There's no change in momentum because nothing's moving at any different velocity than it was before. Now the sum of the forces in the y direction in that control volume have to be equal to m dot v out minus m dot v in if we have no acceleration. Or alternately, the acceleration has to depend on the current velocity or current mass of whatever's in the control volume and the difference between what goes in and what goes out. So we can either solve for forces or we, or we can solve for accelerations or some combination of the two. So if we do the no acceleration case, then the thrust will be equal to m dot v out. m dot, that's the mass of stuff that's coming out through the control volume, the stuff that's leaving the rocket, and v out is the velocity of the jet in absolute coordinates plus the velocity of the rocket. If the rocket's moving away that way and the jet's moving away this way, then the combined velocity of the two is the velocity that, that it's coming out of the control volume at because the control volume is moving in VR. And nothing's going into the control volume. So the thrust is just m dot times the relative velocity. Fuel and oxidizer combined together burn and come out of the back of the rocket really fast so that's the mass flow rate is just how quickly we're burning fuel and oxidizer and how quickly it comes out of the back of the rocket relative to the rocket is what determines the thrust. The surrounding gas really doesn't matter or at least not much. There are some details relating to just how fast you can get the fuel to come out of the back of the rocket if there is a surrounding gas depending on the diffuser that you'll, uh, you'll learn some more about when you study compressible flow. But the big thing is how fast is mass coming out of the back of the rocket.